Okay, so let's start looking at the graphs of some slightly more exotic log functions. Now here, it's always sometimes a good idea to plot some points, and in particular, see if you can find the x-intercepts. Those are the values for x, which make the function equal to zero. That will sort of help you solidify where exactly these log functions go. For the most part, nothing too surprising here, except for the big finish at the end. We'll see if we can watch out for that one. Okay, so let's graph the first thing. We'll start off just to get us on solid footing. f of x equals log base 3 of x. So what does that look like? Well, we've got some axes here. So let's draw in some axes. Oh, look at that beautiful, that is a beautiful black marker. Okay, and so what this looks like is, roughly speaking, this. Here's 1. At 1, we're going to have 0 because here's the uh, x-intercept. Um, if I put in a 1 here, 3 to what power will give me 1? Well, it's 0, so that's the intercept. And so I'm saying it looks like this. And it's asymptotic to the y-axis. It gets closer and closer to the y-axis, though my picture, I can't show you all this stuff. And that's going to be, um, I'll just do, I'll try to color code these things. So this, this reddish thing is actually this function. That's just to sort of put us into place. For example, that means that at 3, 1, 2, 3, this height must be the number 1, right? Why? Because if I put in 3 here, 3 to what power makes 3? Well, 3 to the first power. So at 3, we have 1. And then you can put these other points in here. 9 would be 2 and so forth. Okay, well, armed with that, let's try another one. How about uh, g of x, this will be a green one, will be log base 3, but not of x. Now how about x over 3? So what happens if I were to multiply x by a third? That's going to somehow stretch this thing in some direction. Let's figure out how. First, let's find the x-intercept. So what plays the role of the 1 here? Well, what value of x will make this thing equal to 1? Well, the answer is 3. When I put a 3 in here, I'll see 3 over 3, which is 1. And 3 to what power will give me 1? 0. So now over a 3, 1, 2, 3, this point sort of is going to be over here now. And what happens to the other points? <laughs> well, let's think about this for a second. Um, what about 9? 9 over 3 is going to give me a 3 here. And what power do I have to raise 3 to in order to get 3? 1. So now I've got to go all the way over to 9 just to get to a height of 1. So this height of 1 is going to happen all the way over 9. It's going to be actually off the screen here. So in fact, this is a very slow growing function, a very slow growing function. And it looks like this. Very slow growing. And slowly, also will, always, will be asymptotic to this. So this will get, this will want to kiss this, but it won't be able to kiss it because the red's always going to be the chaperone in between. But they're all going to squeeze together. They're all going to squeeze together at the end. So anyway, that's what happens here. So when you, when you multiply the x by a number smaller than one, in this case one third, what you see is the thing sort of moves a little bit and then sort of tones down a little bit. Moves and tones down a little bit. Okay, what happens if we do the sort of the, the reverse kind of process? What if I multiply by a big number like h of x, which would equal log base 3 of 3x? What's the effect there? Well, first, let's find the, the x-intercept. Where, do where does this thing cross the x-axis? Well, wherever this number is 1, this whole number is 1. So what value of x makes that 1? Well, a third. So now, instead of being at 1, I've got to go shift over to a third. That's way over here. And you can argue that what happens here now is that this is going to be sort of a movement in this direction. So in fact, I'm going to now overcut. And so the brown function is actually going to look like this. It's going to come a little bit this way. Again, that little sharp kink there really shouldn't be there. It's very smooth and gradual. But now, in fact, when the red wants to kiss the, the y-axis, we've, we've got the brown as a chaperone. Everyone's going to sort of head toward kissing as close as you want to get. But in fact, all these people sort of will come into the race in that order. OK, now let's try to really stir things up a little bit and take a look at this one. How about I'll call this s for stir things up. s of x, that will equal log base 3 of x minus 2. Now what's that going to look like? Well, actually, let me try to show you that on a different set of axes, just not to get everything messed up with what we previously had. So let me just draw these in. 
And I'm also going to put in the very first one, because I just want to remind you, sort of every, compare everything to sort of the standard thing. So this is going to be at, at 1, and it looks like this. OK, so that's just the standard one. That's the original one again. That's just for reference. Now, what would this one look like? Well, notice that's just exactly this, but the x is changed to x minus 2. So that's going to be a shift. I'm just going to take this thing and physically move it, either right or left. Which way? Well, remember, add to x, go west. So if you add, you go this way. So if you subtract, you're going to go this way by two units. So I take this whole picture and just rigidly move it, quite literally. Watch. One, two. And that's the graph. So what it would look like is this point at 1 would now be at 1, 2, would be at now 3. And the asymptote that used to be at x equals 0 will now be at x equals 2. So I move the asymptote over 1, 2. So now this is the new asymptote. And I literally just copy that picture exactly as it is, but starting shifting it over. So that is the orange function. And it's literally a shift. Each point was just gone over 2. Each point went 1, 2. Each point 1, 2, and so forth. So this kind of thing is just a shift. OK, so that stirs things up a little bit. Let's now close by stirring things up a lot and look at this one. So let's call this uh, L for a lot. L of x, purple, is log base 3 of minus x. Now what in the world is that going to look like? Well, again, let me just start with a clean slate just so that you can really see uh, how this is going to sort of fit in. So here are my axes. Let me draw in those axes for you. OK, this is the big finish. So first, I'll put back uh, this person, our favorite. Oh, that's a red person. So our favorite is just in red. Asymptotic over here goes up there. That's the log 3, log base 3 of x. Now what I want to do is graph log base 3 of negative x. Well, what does that mean? It means that where I'd plug in this value for x, to get that value, I'd have to put in negative that. right? For example, if I put in 1 into here, log base 3 of negative 1 doesn't exist because there's no power of 3 that makes it negative 1. However, notice if I put in negative 1 for x, that would be negative negative 1, which would make a positive 1. So in fact, if I replace x by negative x, I just see this reflection over the y-axis. This point will now be the analogous point to this one. And this point here, for example, uh, at 3, I used to be at 1, right? If I put in 3, 3 to the first power equals 3. But now I'd have to put in negative 3, because negative negative 3 gives me 3. So in fact, I get the exact same picture, but mirror image right over. And that is the graph of log base 3 of negative x. So if you look at the graph of log base 3 of a negative x, it's just the same thing as the log base 3 of the x, but flipped over that way. So it's sort of a surprising thing, which you just can figure out by plotting some points and seeing how it goes. So a dramatic difference doesn't look at all like what it usually looks like. That's because I've modified it with a negative x. That's a flip over the y-axis. In fact, we talked about flipping over x-axis and y-axis before. And this is just a special case with the log function. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed these pictures, those pictures, and all the other pictures of log functions. And I hope you give the following uh, shot and practice. The more you practice, by the way, the better you'll feel about this. OK, see you soon. <laughs>